Pulse Width Modulation PWM, is a method for controlling power to devices by rapidly switching it on and off. In this video, we'll demonstrate a simple system to control a PWM circuit using a PC. Take the example of an LED. At low duty cycles, the LED is dim because it's on for only a small fraction of each cycle. As the duty cycle increases, the LED becomes brighter because it stays on for a longer period of time within each cycle. This allows for smooth and precise control of brightness. The frequency of the signal is also important. At low frequencies, the switching might be noticeable, causing visible flickering in LEDs or jerky movement in motors. However, at higher frequencies, the switching occurs too fast for the human eye or motor to detect, resulting in smooth and stable operation. If you connect a speaker and send a PWM signal to it at a low frequency, you'll hear a deep, pulsing sound. This happens because the switching is slow enough for us to notice the individual pulses. But as I increase the frequency, the sound becomes smoother and higher pitched, showing how frequency changes the output. Let's look at another example, a DC motor. At low duty cycles, the motor runs slowly because it's only receiving power in short bursts. As the duty cycle increases, the motor speeds up, showing how PWM can control motor speed by adjusting the average power delivered. Using PWM at higher frequencies results in smoother motor operation and less wear on the components. To make this clearer, we can use a voltmeter to observe the effects of PWM. As we adjust the duty cycle, the voltage will change, rising and falling as the power delivery increases or decreases. At lower frequencies, the pulsing effect of the signal can be seen on the voltmeter as it switches between ON and OFF states. For those interested in a practical application, you can create a simple PWM controller using your computer's audio output and an NPN transistor. By connecting the audio output to the base of the transistor and the load, like an LED or motor, to the emitter, the transistor will switch the power on and off based on the duty cycle of the audio signal. This provides an easy way to experiment with PWM in a DIY setting. Additionally, a simple HTML code provided in the video description will create an interface, as shown, to control the PWM of the switching transistor directly from your PC.